Shannon Lewis and Sarah O'Gleeby are considered NBC's secret weapons, creating choreography for various live and tape segments at SNL and The Tonight Show, sometimes at the drop of a hat. These are coveted jobs. To work and have a regular gig in television, you know, it's not every day that a choreographer gets plucked from the Broadway world. I've done 10 Broadway shows in my career, and I use those skills every day in the television film world. You also have to be able to think through a camera lens and work with directors and things like that. Six. Utilizing all my skills of how to break down a song, how to get into the heart of it, finding the beats, also making it like really dance friendly for camera, right? Like formations and changes and all of that stuff. I've really loved doing that. And it does use a lot of my Broadway skill as well. How'd you get started in the world of entertainment? Well, my first show was Saturday Night Fever when I was 19. In London? In London, yes. And Arlene Phillips, um, a huge direct choreographer back home. I just loved Annie the movie growing up. And so I just wanted to work for the lady who did Annie the movie. <laughs> and I actually worked for Arlene for a number of years. Well, I was discovered in Toronto in my late teens, plucked out of obscurity and placed in, uh, on Broadway in Crazy For You um, by Susan Stroman. And I got this featured dance part and I was like in, still in school, still in university, my first term. And I quit school and I moved to New York and stayed in that show for two and a half years. Yeah, yeah, boom, boom. From there, they moved up the ranks, switching over to the creative side. Sarah choreographed not one but two Broadway shows last season, Almost Famous and Shucked. We were born red, we were born red. How'd you get involved with choreographing with NBC and television in general? Well, it's a very funny story actually. So I got a call at like 10 o'clock on a Thursday night and said, apparently you're the girl that can make a lot happen very fast. And so I was like, I am, um, I am. <laughs> and then, um, anyway, they were like, we want to do a big opening number. We're doing it live. It was the first time I was going live on both coasts. So they wanted to do something really special. Colorado, New Hampshire. It was called Let's Dance. Let's dance. Jimmy was hosting and Harry Styles was in it too. I became like Jimmy's person from that moment. And then, yeah, you just gotta make a lot happen really quickly and hopefully very clearly. SNL, what can be so extraordinary is that sometimes you get the script a few hours before, sometimes you can get it moments before, and then you're, you're figuring it out with the writers and the director in the moment. For Shannon, working at NBC has been a homecoming of sorts. When she was in the Broadway musical Fosse, she performed live on the Today Show in 1999. I gotcha. How did you get involved with Sarah and also the world of SNL? We've been in a bunch of different projects together, yeah. actually, yeah. as dancers together. Broadway is a family, really. We really bonded over that, um, you know, getting through all those eight shows a week. Are you ready? But Sarah trusted me to cover for her at Saturday Night Live, especially in the film unit. That was a whole world that she kind of trusted that I could do. You know, you have to have the confidence. You can make it at... SNL and, and shows like that, you can make it anywhere. It's kind of like New York, right? Yeah, that, it is like that. That you can lead with confidence, that yeah. nothing scares you. I mean, there's always a little tiny bit of fear always in what we do, always. And I've never been more free. This duo has worked with some major names in entertainment. Among the more poignant moments was at the tail end of the pandemic. We did this really beautiful thing, Broadway's Back, when, during, when the pandemic and Broadway was reopening and it was Lynn Manuel with Jimmy. But Lynn, we have a full audience now. We do. Yeah, man, we do. We do. This, this moment, this, when we did this during the pandemic, me and Jimmy were like crying. It was the most extraordinary moment. This past season on SNL, Shannon helped give lift to the skit, I'm Just Pete, amid Barbie mania. It was one of those perfect opportunities to have an original song where I was connecting to lyrics, telling a story in a different way. And it is a parody, but the song was based on Pete Davidson, right? Not Barbie. Yep. So I tried to make my own choices. 
That was really kind of a crazy day. I had the best dancers, and that's the other thing. I have to throw it to the dancers that we hire. You know, we can't do anything without them. Yeah. The level of talent that you're working with, you know, it only can make you better. I think that's the thing that I take away. Just every time I get on set with these amazing, this team of people in all these places that we work, it makes me better. It's not often that we see ladies like yourselves <laughs> who started in the ensemble of Broadway shows and have broken that glass ceiling. <laughs> well, we were just talking about how many amazing women inspire us. I mean, that's how I think we both approach it, that we're just really inspired by a lot of creatives and especially female creatives that happen to be out there. Is it getting easier for women to create in entertainment? I think in certain parts of the business it is. I think people are just seeing the value of, I was saying, I always say that it's all points of view should be welcomed, all points of view. And when there's a part of the business that is seemingly closed, let's open it up. And I feel like there has been more opportunity in television film, but I also think it's because of the work that we're doing that is opening those doors. I just want to do the work, just right? Do the work. Doing good work. I'm with Shannon. I'm like, turn up and do the work. And I always say with me, I can have the room laughing and I'll get it done in half the amount of time too. <laughs> you know? And, so, and backwards and in heels, yeah. yeah. You know? Frank Delella for Spectrum News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest news and weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.